loves me. He loves me not. Last night was the hardest elimination yet for me. I offered a change to London, and he freaking broke my heart and left. Asshole! <sighs> I can't believe that motherfucker. It's fucking unfair to all of us, dude. Why? The rest of us just feel like shit, just because we could all see firsthand how much she cared about London. All of our connections felt like they really didn't mean too much at that point. Embarrassing. How do you feel about that? I don't know, man. After this whole London thing, Cage is just sad to say he's really falling apart. Dude, just fuck that, Daisy. How would y'all go hang out somewhere else? No, you wake me up all the time in the morning. You talk so loud. We. Chi Chi's used to his naps. I was trying to sleep, and the guys were in the room talking, and I was getting aggravated. I said a couple things. I didn't say How shit. How did I wake you up? I already told you, dude. You woke me up by being fucking loud when you woke up talking all loud, dude. I told you. I'm gonna keep talking all the whole fucking time then, too. Ah. The fuck are you trying to pick a fight with me right now, Chi Chi? Like, I'm serious? Now probably is not the best time to pick a fight with All me. I said is. All I'm saying is right now is not the best time to fucking pick a fight with me. That's all I'm trying to say. I definitely think Cage has got some anger problems. Everyone's pissed at London, but it's time to move on. No. Just let me fucking. I said if you were saying that right fucking now is not the fucking time to fuck with me. You think I'm fucking with you? Cage blew up like dynamite. You want me to do it to you, bro? I don't care. You want me to fucking do it to you? Why would, can uh, I have my bandana? Uh, huh? Can I have my bandana? Swear to God. Swear, Swear to God, God what, dude? Was here. Go take a Valium or something. You know, me being a fighter and stuff, I'm used to hitting something when I'm angry or mad, and you know, obviously I can't do that here. I haven't won a date with Daisy yet, so I get up and I, I make some coffee and I got some Fig Newtons, which she told me that was kind of her favorite cookie. What is it? It's Big Rig. Good morning, sweetie. Hi. How you doing? Bought coffee and a little bit of Fig Newtons. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Big Rig is adorable. He knows I'm upset and he made me feel like Finally, someone around here besides Ricky cares about me. Rough day, huh? Yeah. Last but night. it can also be a good morning. Hopefully. Yeah. I was really just wanting to go above and beyond, break the ice. So I was like, you know what? Well, you definitely went above and beyond. <laughs> so you definitely get an A+. Plus. Big Rig really cheered me up. Today is a new day, and I'm not going to cry over London anymore. Maybe it's a good thing that he left, because now I can actually focus on the guys who aren't going to break my heart. Listen, I got to get up oh, and yeah. get ready, but yes. I just want to say thank you lovely so job. much for bringing me coffee. Now I'm going to be crazy and bouncy, so thank you. Oh, well, at least you're going to be happy. <laughs> oh, That's all you. that matters. We get done drinking the coffee, she eats the cookies. I walk out the room, and I'm feeling like a million bucks. <laughs> Come on in. Guys, today, you're gonna be producing your own photo shoot. Jeez, dude, it's like we're all doing a photo shoot. I, I fight for a living, you know what I mean? I'm not feeling confident about it. And you know what the subject of the photo shoot is? You guys are going to be shooting me for the cover of my single. Pretty messed up. I absolutely love photo shoots. I love playing dress up, and of course, I love being sexy. You're gonna each be presented with a copy of Pretty Messed Up. We're gonna be looking at creativity. We're gonna be looking at your inspiration, which should reflect Daisy's song. We're gonna give you a CD of the song and the lyrics so you know exactly where Daisy's coming from. You're gonna be divided up into two teams of four. You guys will shoot the photograph. You're gonna be in charge of wardrobe and makeup. And one of you lucky bums gets to be in the photograph with Daisy. I'm looking around at all these crater faces, and clearly, I gotta be the model, of course. 
And we also have our good friends Tish and Snooki over at Manic Panic who have provided hair extensions, makeup, eyelashes, everything you need. We're gonna be the judges, but we've also enlisted the talent of another judge. Her name is Brie Crystal Clark. <laughs> Brie is a world-renowned rock photographer. She has shot Ozzy Osbourne, ACDC, Radiohead. She's the real deal. I'm gonna go ahead and divide you guys up into two teams of four. Big Rig, Chi Chi, 12 Pack, and Cage. The next team is gonna be Six Gauge, Sinister, Fox, Flex. I'm super excited because I did my own album cover with my band and stuff, so who knows more about album covers than me? Sinister. You guys have one hour to brainstorm, and his challenge, obviously, is to win a date with me. So, may the best man win. Can you snap a picture? I can snap a picture. All right, you can snap a picture. Can you do hair and makeup? Oh, um, I'll say he's the model. I'll art direct. He's the model? What? Yeah. Okay. You're good with that. Okay. Okay. He's in a model with her, bro. I don't know. That's a fucking death. Knowing the fact that, you know, I'm a hairstylist, I thought, I'm in a model. He's, he's a hairstylist. He's going to do the hair. You be the hair and makeup. You know what, Fox? You do hair for a living. Uh, why don't you do the hair and just leave the modeling to uh, the better-looking guy? Uh, we haven't even talked about what we do. What else? Being the art director, which is a perfect job for me, Six Gage. We'll let him be the photographer. You got a point and shoot, and I think that Six Gage can do that. Pretty messed up. Let's go read the lyrics. It says something about silver. Living in a world of a make-believe, glamorized silver self-deceit, finding love on the silver screen. Silver screen means like a '50s like pinup doll type. Do you understand? What okay, I mean? well I don't care. My job is wardrobe, so, so no one can so even. Go ahead, bro. So we get an hour to accomplish everything. I'm really stressed out now. It's like we need to find the most middle. '80s spot in this whole house. This is good. This is... Oh, perfect, perfect. So let's move this stuff out of the way. We want it as dark as possible, but as bright as possible. You know what I'm saying? Fox wasn't much help at this point. I was just waiting for him to do hair and makeup. We hook up the bar and you guys are having a badass uh, time. And she lays on the bar in that blanket and you're back there like laughing with the fucking, you're all rich as fuck with your cavassier. Yeah, I like let's it. Let's do it. This is I us. Like like okay, it. guys, that's it. Everybody stop your work. Come on in here right now. Time is up. You have one hour to work with Daisy. We've got some people to help you out. Brie has brought some of her photo assistants, and we've also got a very respected hair and makeup guy, Martin. So these guys are gonna be helping you put out a really good product. Big Rig, Chi Chi, 12 Pack and Cage. Your team is going first. Guys, the clock starts now. Okay, we're gonna, we're thinking about um, Marilyn Monroe. Perfect. I picked out um, the eyelashes, how the hairstyle would be, and what kind of makeup Daisy would be wearing today. I think we have a really good chance of making this. <laughs> oh, wow, you look amazing. Yeah, thank you very much. Love thank it. you. Daisy comes out. <sighs> Holy shit. She looks like a beauty queen. We decided to dress Daisy up like a little Marilyn Monroe. You know, she's looking sexy as ever. You know, everything's kind of really coming together, except for the fact that 12 Pack is in her fucking face. 12 Pack, why? Fuck the move. It's a 12 Pack shooting. Oh, man. I love to model, and having the chance to get in front of the camera, it's only going to improve my chances of winning. No, to see that her lipstick's on her chin now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Look. Where's my makeup artist? Is it good? You're beautiful, babe. Yeah, there you go. We put in all the work for 12 pack to stand there and make out with her. It was just really fucking frustrating. Yeah, there you go. I'm sitting down here swallowing a little bit of pride, and I'm getting really fucking pissed off every time I turn around. I see his fucking tongue down Daisy's mouth. All right, I'm done. Here. Are you sure? Fuck, I mean, I'm tired of looking at that shit, so. But this is our time to take pictures, you know? And I'm fucking done. Fuck it. I didn't even give a fuck no more. I'm on my break right now. Okay. What's going on? All right, I'm done taking pictures, and I'm tired of looking at that shit, so. But this is our time to take pictures, you know? I'm on my break right now. What's going on? Big Rick throws the towel in because 12 Pack was making out with Daisy the whole time. But um, I was focused on the challenge and I blocked that out of my mind just for the job. Hey guys, 
Um, time is up, here's the deal. You guys are gonna get to go through the photos, pick the one that you think would be the best representation of Daisy's song, so. Good job, and we'll see you guys in about an hour. We get to decide which one of these photos we're gonna pick. That's cool, mark that. I hate those pictures. Oh, wow. She looks great in that picture. Yeah, and I think she looks the best there. So I'm, those I'm with three. that one, I'm a favorite for the last one. That right there, I think that's dope, right there. Perfect. Okay. This is the new album cover, I'm feeling good about it. Team two, come on in. All right, guys, you have one hour. And so the vision of our photo is punk rock, Badass, beautiful disaster, Daisy. We're going for more of the heroin yeah. look. So, so that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Yeah. The thing is, is I'm a hairstylist. I mean, I cut hair. So I tell Martin to get the fuck out, leave immediately. I can definitely take him in a haircutting contest. I'm gonna apply a little pressure. Oh, I'm so oh, sorry, oh. I'm okay. so sorry. Maybe a kiss can make up for it. Absolutely. Fox is being super attentive and making me feel really sexy. And for once, it's not about him being sexy, it's about me being sexy. Finally. You can scare it all my lips. You can scare my lips. Are you ready to go on a date later? I felt like I just got a little date of my own here. So we got a photo shoot to do for Daisy's new single, and she's just making out with 12 pack the whole time. And Big Rick got mad, I got mad, we all got frustrated. We just fucking ruined the whole team morale. So, I mean, worst case scenario, you don't, you don't get one, I just got one. This motherfucker is such a fucking douchebag. <laughs> I'm thinking like this back behind here and just be the badass standing in the back. I don't know what it is, but this team's vibe yeah. is a lot cooler than the other team's vibe. Yeah, I love that when you look up. You know what? Take your shirt off for a couple, dude. Shoot's going great. The connection was there. The vibe was right. We start passing each other's gum around back and forth. Looks like Lady in the Tramp. We got this challenge in the bag. It's money. That's money, dude. Just click, dude. Just click. What do you find is perfect, dude? Lock and load. Bam. Bam. Take it. Take it. Take it. Bam. Fox, being Fox, just starts spitting bullshit. Hold the guitar. Flex. This isn't my album cover. And everybody can smell it. Wait, hold on. Move her hair a little bit. Doesn't matter about me. Can I just do yeah. one picture These are with her? These are the ones can I just do one good. picture? Wait, come over here. Come over here. Fox decides he wants to jump in on my parade. No one look at the camera but her. Nobody look at the camera but her. Fox, really, look. don't look at the camera. Look high, up above. Nobody look at the camera but her. Fox, he had no business jumping in the shot. And as far as I'm concerned, he ruined the photo shoot in that way. All right, guys, your time is up. Now what you've got to do is you talk about it, choose the photo. Make sure you look hot. Now it's time to pick our picture. That right there. Okay. I yeah. like that, dude. I don't give a fuck. With the shadowing and the, the snow, dude. Man, what are you guys talking about, dude? dude? Hey. Fox, can you just shut up for like two seconds, please? I'm like, dude, shut your fucking mouth. Stop trying to justify something you didn't even have anything to do with. I think that looks great. I disagree. Time is running out. Is this our final select? Awesome. Yeah, that would be great. I wasn't completely happy about the shot that we ended up with, but I think we're going to win this one anyway. All right, guys. You were supposed to create a photo that could be used for an album cover for Daisy's song, Pretty Messed Up. It's time to take a look at the pictures. So let's start with team number one. Team number one is Big Rig, Chi Chi, 12 Pack, and Cage. I see Team One's picture and I'm like, wow, I'm Daisy Monroe. I think it came together and I think it looks like everybody did their job and did a great job. As far as the photograph itself, I think it's great. What do you think? Um, I love, love Marilyn Monroe. The colors all blend very beautifully together and I absolutely love the picture. Great. And I've got to say, I love the style that you went for. Mm -hmm. The Marilyn look is really mm -hmm. beautiful. Who is Marilyn Monroe? <laughs> Holy crap, what an idiot. I'm ready to see photo number two with the team of Sinister, Fox, Flex, and Six Gauge. Let's bring that picture up. Damn, that's Damn, that's Damn. That Damn. I see the other team's picture, and I'm shocked. This totally screams Daisy. 
We came pretty precise on how everything was supposed to be. I mean, knowing the fact that everything is in well proportion, I think it's dope. I mean, it was the way it was supposed to come out. Fox, you didn't pick out the place that we did it. You didn't pick out the, the outfit that she wore. Shut the fuck up, dude. Let's talk to Bree. As an expert photographer, what is your idea of this photo? My first reaction was that Daisy is just such a beautiful woman with a great body and great face, and I'm not seeing enough of your body. I gotta say, man, the other teams looks awesome. I don't know what's gonna happen. I really don't. All right, well, the final choice is up to you. So which of these would be a great album cover for Pretty Messed Up? Mm. Oh, that's a really, really, really hard decision. So which of these would be a great album cover for Pretty Messed Up? Daisy's about to announce the, the winner of the photography shoot, and after sitting down and looking at my photo, I really felt a lot better and was really, really looking forward to that day with Daisy. I love Marilyn Monroe. I love old Hollywood. It's like one of my most favorite things. But the one thing that I noticed, I just felt like a sort of dead energy between all all of the team working together, which made me feel sort of like, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling this one as much. You know, uh, my music is very pop, punk rock, and to me that screams bright, loud, messy colors. I'm gonna go with... Team number two, the picture with Flex. Team Sinister, you guys. We win. <laughs> Big surprise. I knew that we were gonna have this one. I knew it. I had a great time with all of you, um, but there was an MVP from the team who I felt, in my opinion, really, you know, helped with a lot of, in a lot of aspects to capture this picture. And um, that person is going to be Fox. <sighs> wow. Are you kidding me? And or should I walk? Right, stay just stay there, please. Or should I walk? <laughs> Come on, Fox didn't do shit. It was a really hard decision. You guys are all awesome. I'm definitely not getting the credit I deserve, but I didn't either in the past. So at this point, I'm getting used to it. Overall, I felt Fox really like made me feel awesome. He was very attentive to my needs. So she told me I win a solo date. I feel so awesome that. I can be solo with her. Fox. Congratulations to team number two. Fox, nice job. You've got a one-on-one -on -one date with Daisy tonight. The rest of you guys, you are gonna have a special time with Daisy on the town. Thank you very much for putting all your effort in. And Fox, um, go get ready for a date, and I'll see you in a little bit. Fox. I totally feel like I deserve this date. I made her feel beautiful, and it was all about her. You know, I'm a hairstylist. We do what we do. I don't know how much more of this I can take, man. Fox winning that MVP was like seeing London happen all over again. Dude, all you can do is give it all your all every single day, dude. My entire life, I've only cared about two other girls. So this is way more real than I, I ever thought would be in it. Uh, it. It's just scary, you know? Are these little rose petals? This is, this is a little so hole set up that I made oh for you. Wow, what kind of date is this gonna be? You're gonna get naked. Sassy. And you're gonna put this little outfit on. Today during the photo shoot, Fox totally made me feel like a goddess. So to thank him, I'm gonna make him feel like a god. A Greek god. I'm just very thankful that I got into a situation to where I can like totally chat with you at one point. I'm, I'm here for you, okay. and I'm here being me. Cool. I feel like I'm the realest dude in here. I got hair. I don't know, what is it exactly that you're looking for in, are you looking for a relationship? And if like, what kind of girls do you normally go for? It's about, you know, dating someone that, that can, you know, be on your level and being like, you know what, I'm going out tonight. And then you're like, okay, then I'm going out too. And then you're like, in the back of your head, you're like, wow. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I think that we're a power couple. Why do you believe that? 
because we're, we're, we're amazing. We look hot together. And I mean, I feel that the chemistry's there and we have fun and I understand how you roll. Looks only go so far. So far. True. I, that. I, I just feel like we're having a missed connection for some reason. You know, and there's people that they're not and there's people that they are, you know? So I'm like, you know, but at the same time, like, who would and who do you think wouldn't? When I'm with Daisy, I just I just look at her in her eyes and I automatically feel like I can conversate, but at the same time, silent speaking. Um. I feel like there's a really good connection. I feel like there's chemistry. Physically, mentally, attraction. This guy's lips are way too good for just talking. I have an older brother, I have a younger brother. My older brother is, uh... I think they need to do less of this and more of this. When I kiss him, there's definitely a sexy, yummy, hot connection. So, hey, I guess it's not all bad. I just want you to be happy, okay? Uh -huh. Have fun. <laughs> really? I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it, it came out wrong. Damn, he certainly, I heard about those Greeks. Oh, you know what? Did you see that? <laughs> Rise of Larkins! Hey, I am really not worried about Fox at all because the guy is just an idiot. He's got no brain in his head to play this game like I can, and he's going to screw himself out of the competition. Hey, how are you? Good. So, I've had enough antics for the night, and I run into Cage. What are you doing? Nothing. We were playing pool. Oh, what are you saying? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm kind of curious to see what's going on with him because today he did not seem very happy. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely putting a wall up right, right now, you know? Like, I'm not gonna continue to let my feelings get hurt and get walked on, you know? Like, I'm a human being too, you know? Just like she doesn't want to get hurt, I don't want to get hurt either. I guess he's not very happy with me, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. We're all having a little fun, a little alcohol involved. We're all hanging in the jacuzzi in our tidy whities getting drunk, getting a little crazy. You know, I'm having a blast right here. Just go in the house like this and get some. I'm going to the house because I'm fucking thirsty. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Dog, get back! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, don't scare it! Don't scare it! There's a skunk in there! You've got to be shitting me. Give me the garbage spray. can, I'll catch you. Give me the little cross gate, buddy. Go in! So everyone's drinking and someone says skunk. So everyone thinks of the crocodile hunter at this point. You don't want to do this, mate. Don't ever stick your finger in his butt. Y'all get back! Oh my god, that is a horrible stench. <laughs> no skunk is gonna come into my house and smell the place up, so I take the chair. I Throw the chair into the corner. I got the skunk in the corner like this. I'm creeping all up. I picked that garbage can up and... <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! It's raining! I always thought when a skunk sprays you, it, like, lets off this little, you know, mist that kind of is like, oh, man, that's terrible. But, I mean, this thing... This is right on my face. <laughs> Did he spray you on the face? So that was like some demon just crawled out of hell and hooked onto my damn face. Give me a garbage. I get the fucking smell in my nose and a fucking odor is kicking everybody's ass. No, it's tomato juice takes it off. Where'd it get you? Where'd it get you? I'm just over here just hurling. <laughs> I just started puking because Big Rig was puking everywhere. No <laughs> good. I'm gonna throw up, dude. I'm going in. Watch out. Where 
where I come from, down in the south. I run across a couple of skunks myself. Hey, watch out, watch out. Release to the wild. And the skunk got free. Don't go towards the house. Ugh. I think, you know, that, that skunk was a godsend, you know what I mean? Like, it was a really good distraction off, off all the bad things that was going on with me, and it just it was hilarious, dude. After that, like, I was happy again. The wild release the wild. How y'all like this? Do you have a date today with her? Mm -hmm. Does that mean I have a date with her too? No. Nope. Oh. Yeah, just last night. <laughs> I got a date today. Booyah! I feel sorry for the guys that have to sit around and smell the skunk, but I have a date today, and I'm going to show her a great time. Yeah. Let's rock! Let's do this. After me. Ah! Thank you. Yeah, all right, man. So, oh my god, a skunk oh came my god. in the house. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. Skate <laughs> <Ew. laughs> Skate lab. Yeah! Oh my God. We pull up to a skate lab. I thought it was a roller rink, so I was really excited. Woohoo! Oh, wow. And then I saw the skateboards. You gotta be fucking shitting me. I love to skateboard. I used to skateboard all the time when I was a little kid. And I thought, what a great, fun date this is gonna be. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the guys were impressed with my skateboarding skills. I mean, I really want to show her that I'm dangerous and exciting, but man, I'm kind of terrified. Look at rocking that shit. <laughs> oh. Really? Truly? Honestly? I'm 29 years old. I don't have time for kids' play. No fun party, man. Little kids do that. <laughs> when these guys said they've never skated before, they were not lying. Be careful. Oh my god, oh, dude. I have never skateboarded a day in my life. Oh. oh my god, be careful. Go flat. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. We're here to impress Daisy. I went to the biggest ramp they had in that bitch. Yes. Holy shit. I don't care what anybody thinks of me. I ain't dropping it on this thing. Are you okay? I tried. Are you okay? Flex doesn't know how to skateboard, but I love that daredevil quality in him. <gasps> oh my god, are you sure? It's fine. Are you, are you sure? It's a little cut. Oh my god. He needs a first aid kit for sure. Oh. And I'm thinking, four wheels, my big ass. Fuck that. I know. I'm so glad nobody broke anything. I was. That's why I'm terrified to jump, like to drop right. in. I'm like, dude, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm afraid it. of heights. Like, but I would love at least to try, like, go skydiving. Skydiving would be But sick. I would. I don't know. I, I hope I don't do throw it. up. Oh my god, that's gross. <laughs> Six gauge isn't saying a whole lot. I want you to come with me for a second. I felt like I needed to confront Six Gauge about why he was being so distant. I need to know if he's into me. I mean. Does he like me or not? I feel like you maybe have sort of been a little distant or in the background or something. Like, I mean... I think some of the guys are immature, and I, I'm not. I'm a very, I'm a little bit older, and I, I'm a business guy. I focus on my business in real estate school and bartending, so I just like to make money. Financially, I take care of myself. Sure. Instead of explaining why he's been so distant, Six Gage starts to talk about his businessman skills, and I don't get it. You're awesome. Okay, let's go back here. I, Let's blow this popsicle stand. All right, let's do this. Let's go. After you, baby boo. Have you seen it, Sinister? Seen what? Have you seen the six gauge? No. He showed it to me and I was like, You he, he did? <laughs> you seen. It's what? fucking Are you crazy. Kidding? If I have to be the aggressive type, then I guess it's time to uh, step it up a notch. You ready for it? <gasps> Daisy takes one look at six gauge's six gauge. And the look on her face was like somebody just stepped on a baby rabbit. Oh my god. <laughs> I called Six Cage out for being distant, and apparently, this is how he chooses to step up his game. Is it a way? Oh You're nice. My it's, god. It's nicely done. Now that my eyes have been assaulted, it's back to the house.
This looks good. I mean, I definitely need to let loose, you know? Like, I'm all cooped up in the house. I lost a challenge that I was supposed to win. I'm, I mean, I'm definitely just gonna go ahead and relax and just slam down a few shots and drinks. Yes, please. So Cage is fucking around with Fox's laurel that he was wearing on his date yesterday. Hey, let me see that. This is what I gotta say about Foxes and Daisy's date. Yeah, Good you're night. fucking right. <laughs> really? In this yeah. Oh my God. So next thing I know, Cage takes the laurel that's burning in the fire and holds it up in the air. Oh my God, you picked it up. Right now, six games. Don't, no, no, oh, 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 I broke my fucking hand. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, oh, my skin is oh, 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 Motherfucker, that burned his skin on my hand. What the fuck? Look at my fucking hand. It's like third degree burn. Yeah. I'm right fucking now, asshole, dude. Oh. My sleeve gets wrapped up in the burning rubber, so not only is it burning my hand, but it's burning my wrist too. Yeah, it's like third yeah. degree burn, dude. Hey, hey, hey. That's only said kick me out of that. I'm burning my skin off like fucking fried bacon. What? My fucking oh, no. skin is burning off. What? No. One time, I'll Send let you punch me in the first One second. time. Hey, 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 y'all hear me? I consent to this. Cage is becoming a belligerent drunk. Just ridiculous. This guy is trashed. This is horseshit. Flex, if you don't punch me in the face, you're not a real man. Flex, I said it. What you gonna do about it? We were just sitting around the fire joking around and, uh, you know, someone got burned. But I don't give a shit, you know? Wait. No, I'm good. All right, eliminations. Let's do this. I was just, uh, I was drinking a lot just because you know, I was so stressed out, feeling like I'm sacrificing a lot of myself, and I felt kind of like how I used to feel when I was younger, and it just it sucked. So I'm gonna drink my, I'm gonna drink it all away. <laughs> Who's ready for elimination tonight, fellas? <laughs> Cage is my boy, but come on, he's wasted right now. This could definitely get bad. Daisy wasn't ready to let Six Gage go home. I understand, you know, she's got emotions. Really? Really? Uh, Keep talking shit, dude. Uh, really? Yeah. I don't know why Cage thinks I'm going home, nor do I give a fuck. Bro. You're going home anyway, so why don't you tell me what's up, Six Gage? <laughs> <laughs> You're already your fucking mouth. Watch, watch how sober I get, bro. Watch how sober I get oh, on real shit. quick. Watch how. Flex grabbed me from behind. I feel like he took a, a real cheap shot on me. <laughs> I was drunk to the point where I was unable to stand. He knew that. Oh my God, my God. He ain't an ultimate fighter. He's a fucking punk ass stop, bitch. Stop, stop. stop. He ain't an ultimate fighter. Let Fuck go. that. Go. He can Let fucking go. run in this go. fucking headlock. Fuck that. I'll go home. Fuck it. I'll go home. I'll give a fuck. Cage gets furiated and Flex tends to dip in and put someone in a submission hold. Flex. Can you feel that? Flex. Can you feel that? Flex. Flex. Fuck you, you fucking punk ass That's bitch. When Cage pushed six gauge, I was like, you know what? He is out of control. He needs to go home tonight. <laughs> no, no, I'm fuck him up, man. Fuck that kid. If other people hadn't have been there, it would have been real, real nasty. I should have known it was gonna happen. I should have known it was gonna happen. While I was getting ready for elimination, the producers let me know that all hell broke loose and Cage was at the center of it. Cage. I need to talk to Cage right away and figure out what in the heck is going on. What's going on, Tommy, right now? I, I came down because I'm concerned. Right? What's wrong with you? Coming down here, I was upset that he got in a fight. But when I see him, now I'm just really worried. Can you talk to me at least? Daisy came down, and um, I'm a mess. I'm just so fucking frustrated with the whole thing. My face. My face. Like, I have to look at this in the mirror and know that this guy. All I can think about is Flex. 
getting the flex, how I can get the flex, how I can make him pay for doing what he did to me. I've been training to fight since I was five years old, six to eight hours a day my whole fucking life. It's what I know best. I do it better than anybody, dude. Like, I take people out. It's easy for me, dude. Like, it's easy for me to fucking hurt people. It's real fucking easy for me, like. I don't know what happened. I think it was just a misunderstanding because there's a lot of emotions. Okay, so, so I'll tell you what, that let, us, let us de-mic ourselves, go to the bottom of the hill, no cameras, see who walks back, and then that gets who's, that is who gets to stay. Let's just do it like that. Can we just do Cage, it like Cage. that? Cage tells me that it's really hard for him to control his emotions. Like, I understand I'll go back to jail, prison, this, that. Like, I really for fucking, dude, for fucking what I'll do to, just, like, just for whatever. I don't want to endanger anyone. I mean, this is called Daisy of Love, not Daisy of Kill. If you're going to fight with guys like that, you can't. I can't have you here like that. I can understand, Okay, dude. no, but listen. I can understand, listen, dude. Listen, I want you here, but listen. I need you to make a decision. Do you think that, do you think that you can be here and not fight? Oh man, dude. We're all standing ready for elimination and I look around and Cage ain't here. <laughs> oh my God, please, you're, you're killing me right now, Cage. I need you to make a decision. I need to know that you're not gonna be here and fight unless the thing that you're fighting for is just for me. I need you to make a choice though. I can't, can't be in the same house with Flex anymore. God, if you can't have that dude, I should, I should just go. I couldn't give her the answer that she wanted because I don't want to lie to her, and I, and I, I really don't have uh, anything else to say. I just, just want to go. Probably best for everybody. Cage, he just, he can't look me in the eye and promise me that he's not going to hurt someone. And I have to make sure that this house is safe for all my guys. So, in the end, oh my God. I had to let him go. And I, oh God, this is really fucking hard. But I, come, I need you to come with me, okay? See that beautiful. I'm so sorry, Cage. But I, just, I don't think this is right. But you know what? You're awesome. So I, I, I'm so sorry, but I have to say goodbye. I have to let you go. Yeah. I really, really, really feel that Cage needs someone to help him with his emotions. And I truly hope that he gets that help because I know that there's a really sweet, awesome person in there. Now I'm not gonna be with, you know, the girl that I fought so hard to be here with. And I just gotta walk out that door and turn my back to everything. <clears throat> I just had to walk someone out here that was so angry, he felt like he was gonna have to hurt someone tonight. When I finally hear those sweet words that Cage is going home for violence, I couldn't be any happier. I don't like violence. I grew up with violence in my own life. And that's not something that I condole. I mean, I hate to say it, Cage is my boy, man, but I think she made the right decision because there's no telling what Cage would do. I mean, he's a professional fighter. Like, he's dangerous. 
<sighs> this journey has been really crazy for me, and I have no clue how much more crazy I could take. You can go, guys. Everybody stand tonight. Driving me crazy. Why is there so much broken glass over here? I'm probably going home because fucking. Stop. Come on. <laughs> hey, ridiculous. Hey, bro, seriously, dude. Draw back. Let me so scared. Stuff. Look. <laughs> no. Let me no. Just get this. This is called a power we driver. Let me show you how it works. Let go. Let go. Are you going to head down? Never okay. fine. You're I'm fine. I'm in the best aircraft you're in right now. Rub him in there. Rub him in there. This is the best aircraft you're in right now. It's the best aircraft you're in right now. Come on, dude. Get him. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Seriously, bro.